I'm so proud of my buying habits. Like, Three years ago, Abby would have just been like, buying and buying and buying. What are people talking about? Buy it. Buy it. Do I need it? I don't know. I don't care. But this this version, she's indulging, but not excessively, and it it feels good. I'm hey, guys. It's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a haul. We have Ulta. We have TJ Maxx and Amazon. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, I'm trying a new filming setup in my beauty room. Uh, if you watched my last few videos, I did a reorganization of this room and we did a van vanity clean out. So both of those videos, I showed like what it looked like before, what it looks like now. And I thought, you know, this makes another filming setup. So let's, let's film here. I feel like these dogs are never thirsty until I have to film. These are the things that I purchased during the 21 Days of Beauty. And not all of them were like some of the beauty deals, but I have just the very regular account, beauty account with Ulta, so I don't get free shipping for the 21 Days of Beauty sale items. So I had to like kick up. <laughs> A little bit of the order so I could get the free shipping. All right, so we have a lot of items from Tree Hut. So let me just explain this situation to you because it's a little bit wild. So I saw on TikTok that Tree Hut came out with gel washes and the hype got me. So I actually got this one from Target. It's the Tree Hut Coco Colada. These are so nice, they're like $10. They just make me think of Bath and Body Works. They smell so nice and they're nice scents. So I purchased that one. Um, so that's what started it all. And then for Valentine's Day, Jared had got me the Sol de Sonero Boom Boom Bum Bum, whatever you wanna call it, cream. And it's funny because a couple years back, I didn't love this. Like I got a sample of it, I thought it was overhyped. It wasn't my thing. <sighs> then I got another sample of it recently and used it. And I immediately loved it again. As you can see, I got it for Valentine's Day and it's like almost gone. I love this stuff so much. I just, I just love the smell. I love how it lingers. Uh, I shower at night typically. So when I get out, I'll put this on. I'll put on my PJs. I'll go to bed. I'll wake up. And the next day, my PJs, when I go to put them back on, because I'll wear them for a couple nights in a row, will still smell like it. When I go to get in bed, my sheets will still smell like it. It's just so nice, but it's so expensive. So I saw that there were some dupes for it. One being a Tree Hut item, the Tropical Glow Firming Whip Shea Butter, which looks like this. And here is my opinion of that. You can see I have been using it a little a little bit. Okay, if you stick your nose in it, you're gonna smell the same exact scent. But as Jared, my husband says, this is like the diet version because it doesn't have like the throw and it doesn't linger as much as this one. Like when I put this one on at night, the next day, like I'm not smelling it on my PJs, I'm not smelling it on my sheets. But it is like the same smell, I think, personally. I think it's the same smell. So, I don't know. That could go either way. If you're looking for this in this item, you're not going to fully get it. But if you have been looking for like a toned down version of this, it would definitely be this item. So, I don't think it's like a replacement for me. But it is nice to kind of have a couple of options for the scent because it is a really nice scent. Um, but then once I smelled that I like that scent, that's when it just, we went wild. So I love, um, the shave gel from Tree Hut. Um, uh, sorry, it's the shave oil and my husband loves it too and we need more. So I got it in the same tropical glow scent. Uh, haven't used this yet because we have just a little bit left in our other one. And then I went ahead and got like the shower gel version, which is the sparkling gel wash. And it has like little glitters in it, you can see. Also haven't used this one yet either. Um, but I'm excited and I'm thinking maybe if I do like the whole thing, 
with the body butter. It might be more of an intense smell. I don't know. I really like it. But I also like this gel wash for baths, like bubble baths. So it's just fun since I'm not really buying a lot of makeup. And I'm trying to just across the board not really buy a lot of stuff. I want to make sure what I do buy has like a purpose, uh, maybe an immediate purpose. And so these do. So I love that. Then I wanted to get another Benefit box blush. And I went ahead and picked up Willa. Uh, looks like this on the outside and it is one of the mini ones and the color looks like this and I will swatch it. I haven't used this one yet um, but it looks like a pretty pink color so with a little sheen to it. I just pulled out, I also have Shelly. This one I have owned for a little while. I didn't get it during the sale but to show you One's more peach. This is Shelly, and then this is Willa. Actually, it's not. I lied. This is not. This is the full size. They just repackaged them to be smaller. Shelly is the mini size, so you can see the difference on that. The full size is six grams, and the mini is two point six grams of product. Another thing I purchased was another beauty blender. I like to get them when they're only ten dollars. I have used a lot of other sponges and I still feel like this is the best one. Um, I do like the e.l.f. one. I do like the L'Oreal one. Um, but if I can get this for $10, I would prefer to use the Beauty Blender. I just can't bring myself to use the, like to spend the $20 on it. So I'm happy to have another one and I actually need to switch out. I've been using mine for quite some time. Okay, the last thing I got was a perfume. I've been wearing perfumes more, uh, but I just can't bring myself to pay full price. So the Aqua, this one, <laughs> was half price. So this is $68 full price and I paid $34. And I had never smelled this scent before, but two people told me that they loved it and the reviews were really nice. Uh, and I have used it a couple of times. The bottle is so pretty. And it it's nice. It's like a fresh beach scent. Yeah, I like it. This isn't one that I would have picked out if I was in store browsing. But now that I have it, like, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice summer scent. I think my natural scent is more like Juicy Couture. I like those sweet kind of smells. And this isn't sweet. This is very much like, this is very like, I'm on the beach. I'm in a beach house. <laughs> And I'm vibing. <laughs> Not in a coconut type smell, but just kind of in the sandalwood or something. I don't know. I do like it. So I'm happy to have this. And uh, I have this and one other perfume. It is a Juicy Couture one that I got from TJ Maxx. So again, just trying to buy stuff that I can use immediately. And it's not just going to sit in a shelf, in a closet, in a drawer. Like... I, if I don't need it immediately, I'm not buying it, but I feel good about this stuff. Okay, that was all that I picked up from Ulta. I did get something from TJ Maxx. Um, I do need new moisturizer, and I went to see if they have the Clinique Moisture Surge, because I want that, um, but they didn't, so I'm going to just have to order off Amazon, or Sephora. But I saw this. And I was like, oh, this is good. This is the Belief brand, and it is a little kit. It's a full size of the Aqua Bomb, and then everything else is a mini. So there's a cleanser, toner, eye cream as well. This whole thing was $20, and the Belief Aqua Bomb is a full size. So I'm excited. I always want to buy the Belief Aqua Bomb, and I have used it in the past, but it's just so expensive for me to purchase all the time but this $20 for this and then you get all these little things along with it I I'm excited I haven't used these other things I know the belief eye bomb has a lot of uh high ratings on the Sephora website so I'm excited to try that out I've never tried their um cleansing balm or their toner so we'll give it a, all the other products a go. Again, a product that I already need to use. Replacing another item. I'm just so proud of my buying habits. Like, 
three years ago, Abby would have just been like buying and buying and buying. What are people talking about? Buy it. Buy it. Do I need it? I don't know. I don't care. But this, this version, she's indulging, but not excessively. And it, it feels good. I mean, this might be a little excessive, but you know what I mean. Okay. And then, okay. I have club thumbs, which means my thumbs are wide and it's hard to find press on nails. And through my Googling research, I saw that Red Aspen, their nail dashes, they're just press on nails, have uh, ones that are big enough for my thumbs. So I ordered them and not quite. <laughs> I haven't used them yet. I am going to use them, but the biggest one doesn't quite fit my thumb. There is a little bit of space. Let's see, it's size zero, and there are two size zeros in here. I love that it's close enough, but I'm not sure you can see, but sides of my nail still stick out. Not awful, though. I can still make it work, but not good enough that I would already repurchase. But maybe I'll feel differently once I wear them and use them for a little while. I don't know. I'm always on a nail journey. Like, I don't want to pay so much that... I go get them done because then it's like, oh my gosh, so expensive and gel doesn't stay on my nails. There isn't anywhere close to me that does dip powder, um, but still it's expensive so it doesn't matter. And I just, I'm in and out of the habit of painting them. I just can't figure out how to like make it work for me. Uh, so we'll, we'll just give those a go and see what happens. Okay, the very last thing was I was influenced by my mother-in-law, which is this Glamorous Wash by the Tyler brand. It's on Amazon. It is a detergent, and it smells so freaking good. I wouldn't use this on everyday clothes. I love to use this scent on throw blankets especially or like comforters because it just makes the room smell so good and it lasts for weeks. And you know, it's kind of expensive and the reviews on Amazon say you can like dilute it, like just use a little bit and mix it with like a non-fragranced uh, detergent or you can go full in and use this as your only option. I've done both. Obviously it doesn't linger as long if you dilute it, but it still makes the fabric smell really good. This is definitely not something to use for all of my clothes, but to have it for like blankets, like yes, especially the blankets the dogs sleep on. I, I just had to. My mother-in-law is so good about buying what she wants off Amazon. Like if she thinks she needs or has a use for it, she will purchase it. So every time I go to see her, there's like new organizational bins. There's just new stuff. And it always inspires me to be to spend my money on things that matter to me and to really figure out what makes me feel special versus what doesn't. And it's really cool. Like from that journey, I have learned that perfume makes me feel special. Having body washes um, that have different scents that I identify with make me feel special. That it's just little things like that and just makes me feel happy. Also, it has also inspired me to declutter and organize and figure out in each room of my house, how can I make the space give me energy opposed to sucking from my energy and the way that it could suck from my energy is having stuff piled up and tidied and every time I look at it there's just a mental to-do list getting that stuff out and just finding whatever makes me feel energized by the space has been like a full journey for me and it feels good so something as simple as this when I walk into my room and I just immediately smell something that makes me feel good I'm like Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to be everything for this haul. Let me know what you got from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty or what have you purchased that makes your life easier and gives you joy. Let me know down in the comments. I'm easily influenced, so maybe you might have something that will bring me joy. I don't know. But that's all I have for today. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.